Come to each topic. Here are the question bank solved answer of chapter 2 HTML CSS part 3 link, frame, and forms. First, uh, MCQ. I'm just scrolling the page. Please uh, take a screenshot or read the question yourself. Otherwise, the video will be too long. Number two, attribute of a tag is to set the URL of the target resource, it will be href. Three, which of the following can be embedded as a web in a web page, both one and two. Number Number 8, which of the following are attributes of iframe tag? It will be all of these. I forgot to highlight it. Number 9, which of the following can be embedded in a web page? Both 1 and 2. 10, the attribute of audio tag that display control on the web page. It is controls. Which of the following specify the color of a link when it is clicked? It is active. then 12 13 14 these are the one mark answers what are the most commonly used audio format in html5 OGG, MP3, and Web. If it is come uh, asked for video, then you can write MP4, AVI, MKV, etc. How can anyone insert a video by using video take? What is the frame set? It's allow us to divide the web page into multiple independent windows. Name the take which is used to creating frames uh, in HTML5. It is iframe. What does iframe in html stands for iframe stands for inline frame what is the use of fill set it is used to group the related information of a form now two three mark sensor what is a website it is a collection of related web pages linked through hyperlink number two how many type of link linking html allow one to create in book there are just two types given but uh, in some other book it's three internal local and global but here internal and external only given so these two only you can write number three what is internal linking you can see from here and what is external linking here i have already written what is the use of href attribute href attribute set the url of the target resource what is the use of frame frame divide the web page into multiple windows and by using frame we can also make one part of the web page as static and another part another part uh, as per the user it can be changed what is the use of inline frame an inline frame is used to embed another document within the current html document what is the use of what are the attributes of iframe these are src height and width and if it is come for three marks you can also write the definitions like src it is the it signifies the source of the frame height signifies the height of the frame white signifies the height of the frame this is simple only number nine what is the single line text what is single line text input control oh i have written only the format uh, you will write the definition as Single write input control is used to take single line input from the user. Number 10, what is password input control? You can write this one. Password input control marks the character as soon as the user enters it. They are created using 
input take what is multiple multi line multi line text input control is used when the user want to take more than one line as a input what is checkbox checkbox let the user to select one or more options from a predefined set of options checkbox is created by using input element with a type attribute having value as checkbox why do you include hyperlink in your web page we can include hyperlink our web page for to nav navigate from one page to another and to uh, make interlink between the same page with different sections distinguish between internal and external linking this one you can write and what are frames this one you can write what are two type of text input they are single line text input which is created by using input tag and multi line text input which is created by text area tag which control is the most useful question required for question requiring a simple yes or no answer it will be check box in check box when we tick that means it is yes and when we untick it is no what is the use of password control in html form it is used to marks marks means hide hide the character as soon as the user enters it what is the use of input tag it is a uh, use it form element and defines fields for user to input and input text can uh, in input text with the type attribute uh, attribute we can set these values uh, text checkbox radio button password etc which number 20 what are the uses of submit and reset button submit button submit a form and reset button reset the controls of a form now long questions write the html code to create a hyperlink we use anchor tag to create a hyperlink and the command will be a h r f url then name of the link after that a close right about the properties of hyperlink using css it will be a link a visited a hover and a active definitions is already i have written that one you can write then explain the css property that allow user to display the link as a button so this is already given in book that one only you can write this way you will write first html had then title link as a button after the title you write the style and inside a link and visited you will write background color color text decoration you will set as none padding you will put uh, according to your requirement and text align as a center because in every button we get the text in center only and display as inline block and inside the body just create one simple link so this code will be for to determine a link as a button number 4 what are the attributes of audio to audio tag these are src control autoplay and loop definition you can write yourself src it is the source of the audio controls it display the controls of the audio player autoplay it's automatically play the audio when we open the page and loop it's play the audio when it finish or it repeat the audio when it finish number 5 explain the border property how border properties are applied border property can be applied by using this tree first border width where there here we write the value like it can be thick thin or of border width where we write the thickness of the border thickness of the border it can be like a 2 3 like that and the border style it can be thin thick medium etc and border color it will be the color of the border then number 6 explain the radio control with example radio control is used when we have to select just one option from many options like gender we may have two options male and female from there we can select just one we cannot select two items both the time at that situation we can use radio button and the syntax is this one after that number 7 explain the checkbox with example 
checkbox is used most useful for questions requiring a simple answer in yes or no and in checkbox we can select multiple options the syntax to create a checkbox is this one so these are the answers of chapter 2 part 3 in next video i'll discuss the questions of chapter 3 from question bank and uh, if you like the video please please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye